Hello everyone, Mate here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. And today, well, we're attending an interview. Hey, it's the uh, TV crew that we met beforehand. They're all over the place. And away they go. To await the challenge you again. And they found another water cavern on Route 128, a route that we can't get to quite yet. Captain Stern, I presume. Uh. Sounded like someone was using a megaphone. From inside the building! But thanks for telling us where your hideout is, man. And so the spades have made off with the submarine. Oh, of course they are. Well, we're gonna have to do something about that. But for the time being, we're gonna have to go to the Lily Cove. By the power of convenience! For action. Since the last time, I actually did go refight some old trainers off screen. Mainly so I can get the experience. This guy's still training the Wilmer, so we can't go out that way. We have no choice but to storm the enemy hideout now. And well, it's gonna be a spade free fall in here. Suspicious character spotted. I'm not suspicious, you're suspicious. My goal for this area is to try to get uh, Suzaku evolved uh, one more time at level 36. Everyone else at this point is close to, uh, 35. Around 35. And unfortunately, I didn't bring Alice with me to this area because, well, we're going up against a lot of Dark Types. And, uh, Miracle Eye does not exist in this generation. And now we have the lovely gimmick of this place. Teleportation! Huh, it seems you have more than one meteorite. Also, ooh, that looks cool. <laughs> she's not in it because she believes in the cause, she's finding you because she's bored. Yeah, this is pretty much the gist of what you're going to be fighting throughout the base here. A bunch of uh, Puchiana and Carvana. Maybe the occasional Zubat. All experience is good experience, though. Oh, I lost. I was too busy yawning. Actually, I think if I talked to him... 
Ah, uh, no. Well, there's this particular prize that we want to get from the hideout here. And I believe it's a cross tier, so... Teleportation! Yeah. Don't bother checking these front two Pokeballs, they're actually traps. So instead, let's grab the two in the back first. We get a Nugget here, and the Mighty Master Ball! This one-of-a-kind Pokeball will never fail to catch anything. And now as for why you don't want to check the front two, Zorch. Well, you get put up against Guile. Uh, I made Electrode, sorry. Oh, come on! Oh, it did faint. Oh, sorry, my mistake. It's just that the stack went off and I was kind of like, oh, really? But that, go but that can go off even if uh, the Pokemon in question faints, so. Getting close to 36, though. And now we can teleport. Well, back to the beginning. That's the only reason to go that way, is to get the Master Ball. Hey! How's it going? Oh, this guy's got four Pokemon! He's Maverick! Impressed. Should have used wing attack. And this should be it. Yes, level thirty six. You have to wonder why they didn't evolve their Pokemon at all, really. Poochina should all be a Might Yenna at this point, right? Well, I think they're. I'm not sure if the Carvana would be evolved or not. I forget what level it, it evolves in the Sharpedo. But speaking of evolution, at level 36, Combuskin evolves. Once again. Into the amazing fighting chicken! I mean, Blaziken. And we can learn Blaze Kick, which will pretty much be our replacement for Ember. Almost as powerful as Flamethrower, which is 90 power, but it has 90 accuracy. Whereas Flamethrower is 100 accuracy. At least it has a high critical rate. Critical uh, ratio to uh, help make up for that. Our hideout secrets? Well, let's just say there's a submarine at the far end. No kidding! Blaziken is awesome. It's about all I can really say. And then, uh, much later gens, it actually uh, has a hidden ability Speed Boost! 
makes it even more awesome. Hey! Why do I F? Why do I owe you a battle? Do you really want to get owned that badly? Because I can do that. I'm happy to provide. Lost and dazed. And by the way, those dialogue, those dialogue uh, windows are happening automatically. I'm not pressing A. And yes, you could just as easily sneak by him. But, well, it's the enemy hideout. I may as well take everyone on. Which there is more Kavana. And we've even got a Zubat here. How about that? Fortunately, I do have Body Slam, so, well, I don't have to worry about poison resistance. I will, however, get annoyed at Focus Sashes, though. Oh, I see. So, they already know that they're just Cannon Father. More panels. The hideout's pride and joy, you say? Well, at least they're actually trying to be smart about their hideout. Unfortunately, none of their Pokemon are evolved, so they can't really lower the boom all that effectively. Oh, 2 HP! Well, that's much less offensive, actually. And here we are. This is it! And it's time to refight the admin that we fought on Mount Chimney. Admin Matt. And he's not that much hotter than the grunts. I mean, look at him here, but I mean, at least he actually has evolved Pokemon. That's one step above the grunts, I will admit that. So what do you guys think of the Mega Sharpedo that's going to be in uh, uh, Gen 6.5? I think it's a, a tough jaw ability. Well, strong jaw, I should say. Actually, we turn Sharpedo into a bit more of an effective sweeper with uh, because well, uh, Sharpedo has a speed boost as a hidden ability too. Boost up a couple of times and then just go and then just uh, we'll chomp everything down and we'll all mega it. At this point, though, I kind of actually want to uh, mega my Yenna, though. I don't know, just because. And swaggered. Oh, 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 God! So this is what I've been doing to people. <laughs> Oh, goddess! <laughs> oh, goddess! Oh, their sleuth is entirely pointless here. 
because I'm not a ghost type. And if I were a ghost type, it'd have a dark type move. You... You missed. You missed of a roar. You are terrible at your job. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I was like, is this what I've been doing to people? <laughs> of course, Swagger is only just annoying when. Oh. Well, thanks for defeating the entire point of Swagger. I'm not supposed to uh, confuse them and then run them away. Yeah, if it was me, I would have just gone for the dark type moves. As you can see here, though, a Ghost isn't really all that effective against dark. Ow. That would be problematic. That actually had a use against uh, Layla. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no! Well, I'll take your attack boost. But I won't deal with the confusion anymore. And scary face, I'm gonna give absolutely zero fluffs about that because priority. There. And experience for everyone. No, because I really can't. Chevron pretty much only knows HM moves. The big white sea beyond Lily Cove. Well, there's something we can really do about that at this point. And, uh, yeah, it's time to leave the hideout. We're not quite done with the spades just yet, sadly. But before we go out to the Great Unknown, it's cleanup time. We have a couple things over here that we can take care of first and foremost. And none of them evolve random battles. Oh, come on. There we go. And suddenly the random cows are out in full force today. I haven't uh, talked about this building yet. This is the Safari Zone. 
All you can catch buffet for uh, 500 uh, money. And you get three safari balls, which you are forced to use. I think they're pretty much their catch rate is uh, pretty much equivalent to great balls, though. So safari zone, we can you can catch some uh, rare, rare Pokemon here. However, you can't explore everywhere in one trip. Because there's a section where you need to use the acro bike to get to, and a section where you need the mock bike to get to. Psyduck. So I'm gonna try to get as many items as I possibly can in one trip. And possibly get the rest in a cutaway accordions. Okay, yeah, see this is where I need the mock bike to get to. But I have the acro bike currently, so I can't did get that. Cure off a rig. Uh, unfortunately, you can't check the number of steps you have in this gen. Well, number of steps remaining. Oh yeah, checking cow, you outside the safari zone. Here's where we need the acrobike to get across. Just make a couple sideways jumps there, and we can get up here. Unfortunately, I don't really seem to be finding a lot of items around here. Aw, oh, darn. Well, I'll be back there later, for sure. I just wanted to shut it off for the time being. Mix up, we need to go back down, uh, past Mount Pyre this time, though. This time I will use the Super Repel. Looking back to Route 123, the other side. We have a hidden psychic all the way over here. I wonder why he was uh, by himself. Well, that was a pointless move! Taste punishment! Psychic types don't like ghost type attacks. And now we have a soul rock. Soul Rock and uh, the Sapphire uh, equivalent that we can get, uh, Lunatone, are Rock Psychic types. How odd, I know, right? But you can steal Sunstones and Boonstones from them, if you're so inclined. Provide, you know, you actually run into one at. It is holding an item.
What's down over here? Item! Rare candy. Now we can go this way. And we can grab more berries. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose if- I guess you need a grass-type Pokemon in your party to do that. To, uh, actually get something with her. Uh, I had a Breloom with me. What's TM19? Uh... Ah, uh, Giga Drain. Pretty much the upgrade to, uh, Mega Drain. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it, though. Let me fight you real quick. Well, that's kind of ominous. Let me guess, you're gonna use a uh, hypnosis dream meter on me. I do not approve. Nope, there's six. Awesome. Sorry, no sleeping today. Up here we can get more le Lepa berries. Love Lepa Berries. Always make sure to grow some more. Check over here. And we can get a Super Repel. The replace the one I used. <laughs> but I take one step and it wears off. Timing! Well, let me grab this item here. Elixir. It restores 10 uh, power points to every move in a Pokemon's uh, repertoire. Now, I'm trying to be careful here because, well, once you jump down a ledge, there's no going back, and I kind of want to fight all the trainers in one trip. Yeah, it's time to find another cool trainer. And we have Mawile, which is a steel type, funny enough. Uh, it would become a still fairy in Gen 6. And it would also have a mega evolution, which gave it a sheer no, pure power. Mega Marwile is not to be messed with. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, it's a steel type and it has a bunch of uh, uh, dark type moves, funny enough. It also has an ability Hyper Cutter, which prevents uh, attack reduction. And I, I'm not sure if that's also inclusive of. Uh, burns attack reduction. And full restore, so there goes the burn status. It's not gonna do much of anything, get to a fighting type. Punch! Pelipper. Uh, 
I'm not quite knocked out yet. But I'm not doing a whole lot to you either, so... Yeah, by the way, protect fails if uh, your opponent isn't ready in a ready in an attack. And funnily enough, I was expecting uh, uh, protect there. But no, I'm just gonna let the burn finish you. Hopefully. Yeah, now I'm trying to get uh, Layla to evolve, which will be at 37, I believe. Ow! That hurts! Oh, Magical Leaf, uh... I believe that's a Grass-type equivalent of Swift, actually. It does not miss, so... Oh, Leech Seed. Finally something, uh, I can deal with. I think. And there we go, level 37. And we can learn Fate Attack here, which, uh, Dark Type now. At least to be honest with Shadow Ball, it's kind of redundant. Because everything, almost everything Dark is effective against, uh, Ghost is effective against. And, uh, less things actually resist Ghost. And at level 37, Shuppet Evolves! And now you learn why it's called Shuppet. Or was called Shuppet. Evil Dog. Baynet. True blue, a uh, physical brawler of a ghost type. Somebody think I actually take advantage of Shadow Ball. How about that? Well, gee, thanks. It's not like I didn't have to earn these or anything. It's not like they just gave them to me. But this guy actually has quite a few Pokemon, so... We could be here for a while. Possibly. Magneton, I'm gonna need uh, somebody to take care of that. I can use either a uh, fire or fighting type to, to deal with it. I'm gonna use Belladonna because it, it's one le 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 level lower than uh, Suzaku. Uh, paralysis! Aw, oh, man! There we go. Priority! Don't have to worry about any speed drop. Or Thunderbolt, even. Uh, 
Magnemite. By the way, Magnemite evolves at 33, I believe, so... Well, there you have it. Uh, pre-evolved. Uh, Magneton there. Maybe you caught it in the wild. I, I, that is a 20% effect, and so far, every time bar pulses hit me, the effect has gone off. Well, at least confusion didn't last that long. Level 36. Awesome! And now a Trap Pinch. Which, at this point, probably should have evolved. Although, I think it evolves at a slightly higher level than 29. Oh, oh this one has Hyper Cutter. Oh. And that's not going to do much of anything. And now a shift tree. This is the evolved form of Nuzleaf. In order to evolve Nuzleaf, you need to use a Leaf Stone. Let's show off Blaze Kick. Thanks for noticing. Jerk. So yeah, let me hop over here. Oh, they can at least grab this item. Calcium! And we've made it to, uh, where we stopped, uh, our progress has stopped by the ledges there. So we'll go explore the seas, uh, east of Bloody Cove another time. I'll see you there. Take care now.